everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. We're going to be doing here a little Halloween special reading. We have the daily, we have the weekly, <laughs> so make sure you're watching that. But you guys still wanted a Halloween video. Please don't mind my face. I have the sniffles from allergies. I know, I keep trying to touch up my makeup, but it's kind of a losing battle. We just got to get through this. So <laughs> happy Halloween, everybody. Let's just dive right in and let's see during this time of year. What do we need to know the most? Well, obviously it's a transformational time. We have healing, ooh. So we'll talk about that. We have healing, so there are Revelations coming. Oh yes, you know the truth. And you're not letting it bother you. We have playfulness. Okay. Remember, you don't have to please everybody. And their problems don't have to be your problems. Even if, you know, someone's coming at you. Because, you know, a lot of hurt could be caused. But if someone just has their problems, I mean, again, sometimes all you can do is just step back and away. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't mean you have to take it in. So we have faith. Tripping over my words too. We're going to <laughs> check out this other deck over here as well. So have faith, things are definitely transforming and discernment, you're getting wiser. So this means the end, potentially the end of a tumultuous situation, uh, the end of imprisonment. Like I feel like it's the end of imprisonment here. So it's an emotional prison. You're free now, your eyes are open. Let's see here what else is going on. This might be, yeah, because I'm hearing the end of pressures. The end of pressures. Because it doesn't feel like a resolution. It, it's more like a settling and an inner transformation because you're not, you're not going to take societal conditioning anymore. You're not going to, sorry, that noise. That's my little prayer board. It doesn't, it's not sitting <laughs> flush to the desk. I don't, oh, it's, it's on a little plate over here. Okay, this has this feeling of, I'm not going to allow myself to be coerced into taking this job or uh, coerced into, accepting certain treatment, or I, I'm with you on that one. I'm not going to be coerced into, you know, getting married if I don't wanna get married. You feel me? It's, it's that sort of thing, but let's get more insight here, peace. I'm telling you, this whole thing where it's like healing, playfulness, faith, discernment, peace. <laughs> We're doing great here, right? <laughs> what a great reading. I'm gonna just read this one now because it's Archangel Osriel, and Osriel is all about the death of something so that something new can begin. So if you have felt guilty uh, because you weren't living in the way that let's say somebody else wanted you to live, whether that's a relationship or you feel like you have to give into a business culture or something like that, you finally allow whatever needs to be said to be said to let the pieces crumble. And here's what's interesting because we had this healing and this uh, playfulness card. Let me hold them up like this. This healing and this uh, playfulness card going on here where it's like, I always was afraid of that thing, that tower moment. I was always afraid of that. But now I see that was the best thing that ever could have happened. I'm so happy now. Now I'm in, this this one. <laughs> now I'm in my joy. I'm in my playfulness. And I realize that I don't, I am not defined by what I do, or I'm not defined by who I'm in a relationship with. I'm not defined, I'm not gonna let my friends or my friend groups tell me I'm not allowed to feel or um, have any issues because they do that toxic positivity thing or <laughs> whatever. So this is, uh, something happens that releases you and this restores your faith. It can be a very, it can be jarring, okay? but you get a jolt of inspiration or a jolt of a revelation. And it's like, oh my gosh, I've been living under this pretense for so long. 
thinking I had no other options. Um, or I thought, I keep thinking of, what is it, The Labyrinth? <laughs> Turn away if you haven't watched it, but if I'm not mistaken, it's been decades since I've seen this movie, but um, there's a moment at the end where the young girl, what's her name? Comment down below. You know what I'm talking about. And David Bowie, right? So, okay. <laughs> Again, if I'm remembering this movie correctly, but I just remember that end scene where she has that epiphany, you have no power over me. You have no, and it shatters the entire illusion. And, and that's the thing. Like something is coming in and shattering your illusion. And maybe in some cases your delusion, <laughs> right? Maybe you've known things to be true, but you didn't want to look at it. You didn't want to know the truth. You didn't want to see it, but now you do. Okay. And surprisingly, again, it makes you feel good. It might be painful in the moment, but then you're like, I am free of the nonsense. I don't have to, <laughs> I don't have to keep going in and, you know, trying to play by somebody else's rules. Right? So this is that kind of thing. You might have an epiphany today that you want a whole new career or you know what? I want a new home. I want to maybe move to an entirely different town or whatever. It's something that's like, I'm ready to take that next move in my life. And it really, it's uplifting. Look at this faith and peace. Now this card, I think I started to read it and then I didn't. Um, Archangel Azrael release the past. There is more enriching. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. And remember that too. If you've got anybody pulling any evil stuff with you, God sees everything and you can't escape negative karma. Okay. You can't fool the universe. It will come back to you. <laughs> it will come back to you most certainly. So this let go and let God, it really does have that thing of my peace is worth more to me than this job or my peace means more to me than living in this town where, you know, this, this, and this keeps happening or, um, you know, this might be, I know I had that, I had this kind of feeling years ago when I had a very covert narcissist friend and I started waking up to that. I was still educating myself on that. And then when I finally woke up to it, I realized I had been imprisoned by her needs. I had been imprisoned by her expectation of who I should be. And I had put up with her, with her diminishment, dismissal, like, you know, nobody's problems mattered but hers. And I had tolerated that for so long and I was so drained and my self-esteem was at an all time low that I finally just backed away. I had this epiphany, right? And I backed away and it was painful because I was under her sort of labyrinth spell. And when I backed away, I was like, she's no friend at all. I had to recover, but man, the first time, like I realized, oh, cause I used to have to like hurry up and run to my phone because if I didn't text her right away, oh God, I'd have to really listen to it. So <laughs> the first time I felt myself just out of habit, be like, oh, I gotta check my text messages. I was like, no, I don't, <laughs> no, I don't. And things have continued energetically to get better. So whenever, you know, a couple of years later after that incident, I had a similar person come into my life. So clearly I had things to heal because here comes the pattern again. So this is part of the reading too. Be aware of that. Where are the patterns? And if you feel like you're constantly dating the same kind of person, or you constantly find yourself in the same work situation, looking at that and going, how, how is it that I'm such an easy dumping ground? for example, right? So I was given this example that somebody else started to come in and they started to treat me the same way as this other person did. And pretty quickly, I saw it faster than I did before. <laughs> at least that's something. And I started to back away. But then if we stop and we look at, you know, the same dynamic I have at home is what I have at work. Or, you know, do people take advantage of your kindness? Do they take advantage of the fact that you are you know, uh, forgive or that you have unconditional love or that you respect everybody. You know, it's easier to, I was just saying this to somebody, it's far easier to come and get your validation that your pain is gone when you put it into somebody else and you can see them come alive from that poisoning, really. And that's what a lot of nasty people do. 
They won't just heal stuff on their own. They'll throw it at somebody else and watch them get upset. And it makes them perhaps feel soothed. Who else knows why they would do such a thing that they've gotten rid of their pain? And if you're gonna dump your pain on somebody, who are you gonna choose? The cold person who's gonna mock your feelings and tear you down and beat you at your own game? Or the person who's loving, kind, loves you unconditionally and forgives, right? So pay attention guys, because that's where this discernment card, that's where this discernment card comes in. It's definitely coming to that realization and going, no, I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna be someone's human trash can <laughs> for their junk, right? So this kind of goes into the scapegoat mode. If you are a scapegoat, all my love and support to you. Um, remember, it's not you. It's not you, <laughs> right? You ended up being the scapegoat because you're a beautiful person. And when people are aggravated, they hate it when somebody else is happy and so they gotta stop it, right? They gotta sabotage it or something. So this is this discernment card is definitely saying, watch what you learn from this transformation, from whatever rocks your world, whatever truth comes out, be at peace with it. It is a beautiful thing. And going forward, you'll be more discerning about what you accept. Again, let's use this in the example of like, let's say a career. Maybe you've always accepted, well, my resume shows that I have jobs in marketing. Check in my mic. <laughs> so I will always have um, jobs in marketing, but maybe you wanna go off and do something completely different. This is that time where you stop the negative self-talk or you shut down people uh, who are talking nasty to you and saying, I'm shutting out your toxic behavior and I'm gonna go after what I want, see? And then you get released, here it is guys. So where do I start? This one, then this one, then this one, then this one. I love how they work, <laughs> this is great. So we have six of Raphael, enhance your, why, why can't I read? <laughs> embrace, I said enhance, embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood, be careful with that rekindled relationship thing. If somebody has hurt you, they've, they've shown you they can't be trusted, you know, people will say, oh no, you gotta forgive, you gotta forgive. You can forgive, but that doesn't mean you have to keep accepting the behavior. So this could be someone from the past coming back, trying to rekindle a relationship. Discernment, <laughs> we ain't messing. Discernment, okay? Make sure you're not just going back in because everyone says, oh, but that person loves you, you should. Get back with your ex. I, I always thought you two were the most beautiful couple. Who cares what you look like together? That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. <laughs> like, who cares what you look like? Are they healthy, right? Now, this also, it could definitely be a healing, let me pick this card up, of the inner child. All right, so this might be long-held self-beliefs that go back to childhood. And I'm hearing restore. Yeah, so here's this playfulness that kind of goes along with this too. So there's this whole revamping and releasing and being released from a toxic situation, being able to let it go and being free. Now your, your energy is not being wasted on nonsense, okay? And then you're healing that inner child. Again, it could be, especially we're talking about scapegoats. If you were the scapegoat of your family, maybe you grew up being told you weren't worth anything. Maybe you grew up being fearful that you were gonna be abandoned or whatever because you were told that you didn't, you weren't wanted or whatever, that's being healed. Okay, now that obviously this is a general reading. Make sure you are, this is not a replacement for therapy. Please make sure that you're getting with the therapist. Okay, so we have nine of Gabriel here. It says, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. This is fascinating because for some of you, there's new love coming in too. <laughs> this could be something that is, um, Hang with me here. Whenever I get quiet like that, I'm just listening. I, how do I put this? Like, I, you're not taking it anymore. Um, now, if you're married and you're like, I'm just bored in my marriage, this is great. No, this ain't for you, okay? No. Um, handle your stuff, okay? I mean it. You don't like it? There you go. All right, this is more for people who have, um, waited and embraced who they are. They've gone through their changes. They've gone through their growth. And now the reward will be coming in. 
uh, at least fairly soon. I got a makeup thumbprint on this card. So this whole thing is just, uh, your hard work is going to be paying off, but you need to you need to look at the patterns, recognize them and let them fall away. Even if you're like, no, I don't want it to be like that. I'm, I'm scared, I, you know, I don't wanna let go of this situation or whatever your deal is. Once you do, the light comes on. The light comes on. Again, that will be different for everybody out there, whatever your situation is, but whatever it is that you have that's just been kind of hanging there, it gets resolved now and you are free. And as you go towards your freedom, you might have people trying to, again, sabotage you and drag you down and do all that stuff. Don't even worry about it. We have Ace of Raphael. So through your healing, this is where you open your heart. And this might be true friends coming in or if you're single, a love partner. It says a positive new emotional experience. You're free. Do you see this? You are free. <laughs> Fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. And that's the big thing. Finally, you don't have to live with your broken heart anymore. You don't have to sit around wondering what's wrong with me or why am I not doing enough in this life or why am I not reaching my potential or, you know, I'm not good at this, that, and the other because, you know, I had a naysaying person early on in my life or whatever the deal is, right? You're coming into your power and this is where we have the emperor. Uh, the emperor, Archangel Uriel, so not Ariel, Uriel, U-R-I-E-L, uh, stability and efficiency taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. When I say you're not taking it anymore, you're not taking it anymore. And that, you know, some people misinterpret that as like, that's right, I'm gonna go tell that person off. If someone is gonna feed off of that, is it worth it? <laughs> I know, I know, it's, it's tough because um, it feels like people are getting away with something, but I don't think you have to worry about it because you're in your power, you're in your strength. And you know, now your moves don't have to be to prove yourself. It can be because it's emotionally fulfilling. All right. So yeah, this might be you be you meeting somebody who you can have a romantic partnership with. Um, this could be somebody who has a lot of great advice for you too. Or somebody why why don't you make something happen for yourself? And if you're like, well, I don't know. I had this really crazy moment, uh, you know. I haven't healed my, where's this one? <laughs> my inner child yet. Not that you're gonna say that to somebody who's coming in and telling you that you should believe in yourself, but it might be some revelation and you know that you have been blocking all the good stuff because you have been that dumping ground for someone else, right? And they love that because they don't want you to succeed. There may be someone in your life who did not want you to succeed because I'm getting this whole energy of sabotage. Call an Archangel Michael, okay? Um, I even go so far as to light a candle. There you go. Here's a candle that I was using uh, for protection. And um, I called it my justice candle and my truth candle. So I wanted justice in a peaceful, loving way. And I wanted truth to be exposed. So, and I wanted clarity for myself too. It wasn't, I wanna make it clear. It wasn't like I was trying to send bad energy to anybody. I just wanted, I wanted peace. And so, and also to protect myself. But this Emperor card says, you see what doesn't work. The solutions come, you cut that out, you move on. And now you've got something wonderful that is opening up for you. All right, so we're gonna leave it there, guys. Happy Halloween and take care.